It's only been a few days, but the reality that Steven Hillenburg is gone from this world is still hard to accept. What he created will continue to inspire new generations of kids and adults alike, and the lessons from his series will live on. At this point, some people are wondering how Nickelodeon is handling Hillenburg's death. I mean, SpongeBob is the network mascot, and Nick definitely wouldn't be the same today without him. Well, the good news is that the network is honoring Hillenburg and his creation through a new SpongeBob marathon. You can find the full list of episodes on the TV Passport website for Nickelodeon USA feed. Of course, Spongebob marathons are often common for Nickelodeon, though taking just one quick glance at this, you can tell it's a little different than all the others. We start off all the way at episode 1, Help Wanted, which was actually three different short segments, all introducing us to various aspects and characters in the series that would later become iconic in the world of animation. As the marathon episodes continue, you can see that some of the most popular stories in the entirety of Spongebob are here. Band Geeks is widely considered to be the best episode in the entire show, so it's really cool that Nick is showing it once again as a tribute to Hillenburg. Another noteworthy episode is Idiot Box, which taught us that with imagination you can do anything. The lineup continues, almost all these episodes being classics from the golden era that show us how incredible Spongebob is. What I really like is that it starts off with the very first episode of the show, and then it ends with the most recent one to see how much has changed between the two. But how is this specific marathon different, you may ask? Well, it really feels like not only a few of the most beloved fan episodes, but also an accurate evolution of how Spongebob used to be versus how it is today. With this string of episodes, we're able to see just how far Hillenburg was able to get with his amazing imagination, how the world he created could expand farther than anyone had initially expected when they saw it talking sponge. Honestly, it's just nice to see that Nickelodeon is paying tribute to Spongebob's creator. I'm putting this video out there to spread the word of this marathon, so if you want to tune in to some of the show's best episodes while also remembering the insanely creative world Hillenburg crafted, then I highly suggest watching on Sunday. I'm hoping that sometime in the future, Nick is planning even more things to celebrate Hillenburg's life and passion, but for now, a marathon is a nice way of remembering how far both Spongebob and his creator have come.